Hey everyone and welcome back to The Dot Father. What we want to go ahead and investigate today is how to withdraw liquidity from the liquidity pool that you staked inside of Earn and of course pay back the loan that you had with AUSD. Part of this is going to be a review uh, and my thoughts about why I'm withdrawing and of course uh, a continual review of the platform itself of Akala. But here what we want to go ahead and do is uh, is go ahead and, and withdraw liquidity. So let's go ahead and, and get right to it. So go inside of the swap on your left menu, type in liquidity, and then withdraw liquidity. Here I will choose LP AUSD LC dot and type in the total amount. Uh, here obviously the numbers are blocked, but I will see exactly proportionate to which tokens I have will we be withdrawing. So let, let's go ahead and withdraw liquidity and see exactly what's going on. So you could skip this part uh, if you're not having this problem. Uh, this is a really good uh, time to speak about the user experience and, and, and interface of Akala as well. But here what I actually stumbled upon is a uh, problem of removing liquidity. I wasn't able to do it as easily as I thought I was. So we'll be finding out exactly what's going on with this problem. This right now is keep on going. So it's there's a lot of time left to uh, the transaction being finalized, which is very frustrating. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and keep waiting, maybe even uh, speed up the video itself if you have to. Again, don't know why it's so slow and I get a problem. Please check manually. No idea what that means. So I go ahead and try it again. Uh, I click the button again, withdraw liquidity, put in my password and sign the transaction. And again, now I get a 1010 invalid transaction is outdated. Super weird, don't even know what that means. Um, very frustrating, I'm trying to see exactly what's going on uh, with my uh, tokens. Maybe it did go ahead and withdraw it, but the, the UI did not update it accordingly. But actually we'll see that, that it still hasn't been done. So I'm gonna go back to the tab, click max, and I still have those liquidity tokens. So let's go ahead and, and do it again. And I get the same exact thing. Um, so what I'm doing in this uh, situation is actually gonna go and, and look inside of Google. Uh, what's, what's exactly going on? So I go on Google and one of the first things that's interesting is that there's a common error from the Karura app. Karura is the DeFi hub from Akala, but inside of the Kusama blockchain instead of Polkadot. So I click on the documentation itself and here I, I say, no polkadot.js extension found, which is weird because I have my polkadot.js extension. It is active, but right now my parachain wallet is using any change. So let me let me try to change it with Akala specifically. Um, so I'll go back to the main page, withdraw liquidity. I check my menu, okay? And I see here that I have my AUSD LC dot. So super weird. Uh, the platform, the, the platform itself was able to withdraw liquidity, but I got that error, which is very frustrating. So now there is nothing to withdraw as apparently I withdrew it. Now what we're going to do is go inside of our vault to mint AUSD. Uh, because I withdrew from the LC.AUSD pool, I'm going to go here. Uh, and I owe 620. So I'm going to go ahead and pay back 535 what I withdrew. Sign the transaction. And then of course, uh, my debt will be lower, right? So I took the debt from the Akala platform using AUSD so that I could participate in the farming pool, okay? After I withdrew it, I'm not, I don't wanna be partaking in that uh, farming initiative anymore. I pay back the debt uh, with Akala, right? Now you can see here the flexible fee is 0 0.0029 every time you, you pass the transaction and that will be it. And voila. Here is how you pay back the money owe to the DeFi protocol. Okay, so here are my final thoughts regarding this video, okay? Um, this is not financial advice. These are just purely why I think what I think, but first and foremost, why did I withdraw in the first place? I didn't think that the pool AUSD and LC dot was lucrative enough. 
And so I'm just taking it out and try to focus on another liquidity pool with another initiative, right? Um, that's the only reason. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, the second uh, thing I want to review is the UI and the UX, right? Just because the Akala team has a bunch of professors and PhDs and blah, 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 doesn't mean that they're going to deliver the best experience, right? And, and the product is itself is very faulty. There's a lot of bugs. It takes a lot of time to complete a transaction. They gave you errors that maybe in the back end are actually happening, but uh, in, in the front end, the UI is actually pretty bad uh, or it, it's just not comfortable. It's not, it's, not, it's not feasible for a user to go ahead and do that. Uh, also, I, I wish that I had a report on how much interest I paid uh, when I borrowed the AUSD. What is the report for my financial transactions regarding my vaults, right? So don't be impressed by the team only, but also by the product itself. Hopefully you liked my video.